Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com and we're here today with a quick look at the ASUS ET2400i GTS. Easy for me to say. What you're looking at is a 23.6 inch all-in-one PC with multi-touch capability by ASUS. It's based on an Intel Core i5-2400S dual core processor with Intel hyper-threading and Turbo Boost technology as well as Intel's H67 Express chipset. 6 gig of DDR3 1066 system memory and a 1 terabyte 7200 RPM Seagate hard drive is on board as well. The graphics are powered by AMD's Radeon HD 6470 graphics processor, so a fair bit of multimedia horsepower under the hood. With the system you get a number of things. You get this media center remote and the receiving unit that's a USB. You plug that in right there. You get a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. Let's take a look around at some ports and some other features. So here we are on the back side of the ASUS ET2400i GTS, and this is where the power adapter plugs in for the system. Over here is a gigabit ethernet port, HDMI output, VGA output. This is a coax optional TV tuner input connector, uh, Kensington lock port, and four USB 2.0 ports. And here is a service panel for the system so you can get actually inside at some of the internal components. Over here is a flash card reader slot, a pair of USB 3.0 ports, kind of nice, and headphone jack and a microphone jack. And on the front face of the system, you've got a 0.3 megapixel integrated webcam and microphone, as well as the Sonic Master integrated speaker system down here in this grill area. Now our system came configured with Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit and Windows 7 Touch Pack with all the standard utilities that come with Touch Pack, including the slide-out keyboard here. That's stock for Windows 7 Touch Pack. But ASUS also includes a number of different apps and utilities that they've custom built for the system as well. They're available via these standard desktop shortcuts, but also this ASUS toolbar up here up top. And you can see there's a number of zones. In the Fun Touch zone, we've got ASUS eMemo, eCinema, eCam, Windows Journal, sticky notes, things like that. Over here off the eAmuse menu, we've got ASUS Vibe, Game Park. We've got ASUS Web Storage here off eSharing, which is cloud-based backup and storage services by ASUS. ASUS eExperience for the Sonic Master audio solution in the system, uh, adjust surround sound, bass, uh, things of that nature, and then eTools for accessing ASUS's easy update application for updating the system's firmware and BIOS. Let's take a look at some of the apps that ASUS bundled in next. First, let's take a look at a couple of applications under the Fun Touch menu. Let's take a look at eMemo. This is your basic sticky note application, if you will, and we'll drag a note to the poster board here, select our red pen, and you can see my chicken scratch. And as you can see, the touch screen on this is actually very responsive. One of the most responsive touch interface implementations we've seen in a system this size before. And competitive products like HP's Touch Smart come to mind, uh, actually. And this machine is actually very, very responsive, surprisingly so, actually. And so let's fire up ASUS eCinema. This is basically a Windows Media Center uh, application, if you will, or very much like that. Uh, but custom built by ASUS. It's got a photo app. Let's take a look at that. And you can create slideshows and things like that, of course, but you've got your standard pinch and zoom interface capabilities as well as swipe. And let's go back to movies, videos actually, the video app. And you can see here we've got a collection of movies that are resident on the system and you've got these animated tiles which are kind of nice and you can swipe through those. And let's fire up a 1080p H.264 encoded QuickTime movie trailer clip. This is full 1080p HD quality. And as you can see, this is the I Am Legend trailer. And as you can see, image quality is good, frame rate is good and uh, no problem for the ASUS ET2400 series playing high-definition digital video content. And finally, here's a look at ASUS at Vibe. This is a web-based multimedia and gaming streaming service, and it's broken up into four different sections currently. It's music, games, radio, and learning applications. Again, all web-based. And here, let's go ahead and fire up the music channel, and we can go ahead and play the Usher station. Why not? And 
As you'll hear, the integrated speaker system is not bad in the ASUS ET2400 series. You definitely could get some higher fidelity sound quality out of some external speakers plugged into the audio outputs of the system, but the integrated speaker system is not too bad. And here we are running Far Cry 2. This is a DirectX 10 based game engine and benchmark. We have the image quality settings set to high and anti-aliasing is turned to off. Resolution is set to 1280 by 720, so not quite native res for the panel, which is 1920 by 1080, but still 720p HD res, if you will. Not bad. Image quality is looking good. Frame rate is decent. We're pulling about 24 frames per second in this benchmark at these settings. So not bad for the Radeon HD 6470M graphics engine that's under the hood of this all-in-one system by ASUS. This has been a quick look at the ASUS ET2400 IGTS all-in-one touch-capable system. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.